And I don't know if some of you remember our live from Monday, but I attempted to make this butterfly shirt. <laughs> and uh, we kind of want to start dedicating our Wednesday lives to any sticky situation that we've heard customers, you know, run into in the past or that we ourselves have run into, like on Monday's live. <laughs> um, and we want to give you guys tips and tricks on how to avoid that happening in the future. So we thought this was a perfect opportunity um, anyone who hasn't seen the live from Monday, there's still some very great information. Uh, Marina's craft went <laughs> swimmingly, nothing wrong happened. This is her shirt here. So you can watch her make that. You can go back and watch that. But um, we're going to fix the mistake that I made in today's live. <laughs> yeah, because definitely we all know that when we go to attempt a craft, they don't always come out perfectly, right? Yeah. So um, many things go wrong. And I always think that there's always a solution. There's always an easy fix. And so we're all about finding how do I fix that without, you know, wasting my material. Um, you know, I don't want to get rid of this shirt just because my pattern didn't come out exactly like I wanted to. So how can I fix that? So that's what we want to start dedicating our Wednesdays to. Every sticky situation has what? A, a brilliant, brilliant solution. solution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um, my goodness. So, before we get started, should we talk about our free shipping news? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so, we just got the news today, actually, when Marina and I came into work. They told us that we have lowered our shipping threshold. So, any order $25 or more, you get free shipping on. So that's super that's exciting. Right. We've been anticipating that, um, and it's finally here. So, yeah. so we know that um, you all are at home and you're crafting away, and we just think that this is just a great way to say that we want you to continue crafting. We know that everybody needs a creative outlet, especially during this time. Um, so now we can ship your items to you um, for free, like she said, at only twenty five dollars. So that went from like seventy five for for free shipping down to 25 so that's a big jump yeah because we've still got the t-shirts on the site right? right so that's any size small through 3xl we've got that in black and white so you can get some vinyl you can that's get some right. shirts you know get some you know what whatever you it is you need <laughs> <laughs> some tools whatever it is that you need um, and so something else that you can add to your cart would be our printed patterns. Um, so like Kennedy said on Monday's Live, we talked a little bit about how to use the printed patterns. So today we're going to give you all a coupon, coupon code. code. <laughs> <laughs> so for our Facebook Live viewers, um, the coupon code for printed pattern is FB Pattern. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll probably see that down in the comments below, but the coupon code is FB Pattern and that saves you one dollar. So our printed patterns are originally five ninety nine, and with that coupon code, it's just going to bring it down to four ninety nine a sheet. So um, I think that's extremely helpful. I know that price on the printed patterns can be just a little bit intimidating, so I think this should help out a bunch with that. Um, and the way that you enter in that coupon code is when you're on the checkout screen, you've got everything in your cart, you're about to enter in your payment information and everything, you will see a little bar on that screen where it tells you to redeem a coupon code. Mm -hmm. And like she said, you're just going to enter in FB Pattern. That's right. So that's our thank you to you all for watching and hanging out with us. Emily, we have any comments or anything before we get started? Um, Roberta said thank you for doing that. Appreciate it. Hey, Roberta. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us again. All right. Well, I guess let's get on into it. I'm um, having <laughs> some breath, PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> All right. So I was actually, Marina and I were testing out a few different options to take this off of the shirt. If Marina, you want, I mean, Emily, do you want to go on overhead, please? <laughs> okay. okay. So we talked about it and we came up with two ways to remove the vinyl from the t-shirt. Um, one of the ways was to use the VLR. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we did on this side over here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see or not, but because of the, like, the ink and the printed patterns, when we soaked the VLR onto it, it actually started to bleed a little bit here on the shirt. 
um, and we, we're going to have a few workarounds that hopefully we can cover that up with um, whenever I put the new design on top. Right. Um, but still you can see like we got it to come up pretty easily. Um, that's just one thing that you need to look out for. I, I honestly wasn't even aware that that was going to happen. <laughs> Um, and then over here we did a method that Marina told me about and that was either using your at-home iron or your Cricut Easy Press and you just put it on the inside of your shirt, right? right. So you, you want to heat from underneath the vinyl. So mm -hmm. I always do this with my home iron because it's smaller, it's you know a little bit smaller than the Easy Press um, and it fits right underneath and I can hold it with my hand and then tighten my t-shirt around it and then as long as the material gets heated well from underneath you'll see it will start to wrinkle up like this and then you can just take your weeder and just weed it right off. Can they see that Emily? Can they see the little crinkles? Um, maybe a little bit. You have to hold it up. So. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so yeah that worked out pretty pretty well also. So do we but... want to demonstrate both now? Yes. Okay. So we'll start with the VLR on the I'm side. I'm scared about the VLR. <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll just put a couple drops on there. And we'll let Do we still have those paper towels over here? They're right beside you. Beside me? How mm -hmm. convenient. <laughs> so we're going to blot it a bit to hopefully avoid it um, kind of seeping over onto the white shirt. And I don't know if you all can see, but immediately the vinyl starts bubbling up underneath there so that we can... Um, so that you can get it off and then you just kind of want to kind of want to <laughs> peel this off sorry wow you see that coming off that just looks so much it looks <laughs> like so much fun to me <laughs> okay so you can see where it kind of bled through there but i'm hoping that won't be much of a problem when we cover it up um, and then also, you know, if you're doing this, you and you you're gonna want to wash this after you apply the VLR. Right. So you could you could bleach those spots if you needed to. Right. Um, and they may come out with just regular, you know, uh, laundry detergent. But um, if not, like Kennedy said, then the workaround for that is just to go ahead and cover it up. <laughs> cover it up with your new design. Okay. So that's just to kind of show you in that corner the VLR. So let's see which method is easier. Okay. Um, how far can we get this cord to stretch? Because um, I'm going to bring it around this side. There we go. Okay. I'm a little bit scared. This hot <laughs> object really terrifies me. Should be fun. Let's try. All right. What, what, what do you want me can to do? Can we switch seats? <laughs> We can switch. <laughs> Marina takes care of me. <laughs> All right, let's see. So okay. let's put this underneath, like so. Am I still in frame, Emily? Um, yes. Okay. Oh, um, now you're not. Bring, come up just a little bit. There you go. Okay. So the trick here is to just kind of tighten the t-shirt around the platen and give it a, a second to heat up and then once it's nice and hot you'll start to see it wrinkle and bubble and then you can just peel it up just like that. Now with this method as you see there's no um, color residue left but when you're working with the easy weed the VLR works great because there's no um, there's nothing to like right bleed over this is fun guys <laughs> if anything it's just something else to keep you entertained at home find some old shirts that you need to potentially redo try out this cool method because I didn't even know about it this is so much fun this has always been my hack for how to remove vinyl before I knew about VLR this is exactly how I did it at home every time I messed something up I was like well I know how to get it off look at how easily that comes up and there's no bleed of the coloring, bleeding, you know, whatever, I can't speak today, but it's fine. How many people do we have joining us, Emily? 31. Well, hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. Welcome. If you're just joining us, I'm Marina. And I am Kennedy, and 
We are fixing a shirt that I kind of had some mishaps while making um, on Monday's live. And also letting you guys know that we have free shipping now on any order over $25. That's right. So take advantage. And that's the entire month of April, right? Um, for right now, yes. Yeah. So, um, so definitely get in your orders now while we do have that free shipping threshold lo lowered. And um, if you're interested in the printed patterns, then we have the coupon code for you all. And the coupon code is FB Pattern. And that's going to save you one dollar on each sheet. Yay! <laughs> um, Roberta wants to know, will a regular iron work that way too? I don't have one of those machines. Yes. Roberta, that is exactly what I use at home, just a regular iron. I just put my iron right up, up, right up underneath the um, actual vinyl. I let it heat up for a couple seconds and then like you, you'll be able to see. It'll start like um, looking like it's lifting or crinkling if it's a printed pattern. And then um, once you start, you know, kind of trying to lift it with your weeding tool, don't do it with your fingers. Yeah, <laughs> use your it's dangerous. <laughs> use your weeding tool and start picking at the vinyl and then eventually it just peels up. The one thing I noticed though is you do have to, you want to keep your um, t-shirt tight to the heated platen. So honestly, a like at home iron might make that even easier. It definitely does. Because it's a smaller surface so you can tighten your shirt around it a lot easier. Or if you have the um, Cricut Easy Press Mini um, and you're doing a small design, like this one's kind of large, so I think this Easy Press was probably bonus. <laughs> but if you're doing like a smaller one and you have the Cricut um, Easy Press at home, then. Do I need to pull this tighter? I think so. Okay. I'll work down here while that's heating up. Um, Hopefully. Lori wants to know what temperature is the press on? It doesn't scorch the shirt. Um, no, on my home iron, I typically do it on a, maybe on cotton or the one just below cotton. Um, and I've never had a problem with it scorching, but I mean, you can test it out at a lower temp. The trick is to get the vinyl hot enough underneath that it will, that it will peel off. Um, and then once, you know, whatever temperature that is or whatever setting that is on your iron, um, you can start low if you want to, but if you're having trouble getting it off, then I would move the temperature up. DLR is burning my eyes. Oh, is it? Yes, <laughs> my goodness. Okay. I can't smell it. You want to switch? I do. You want to hold it for you? Sure. Where's the handle? Right under there. You got it? I think so. Okay. And I'm trying not to... You got any questions, comments? Um, a lot of people love your shirt, the um, butterfly shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I was very, very excited to make it, and that's why we thought it was a perfect opportunity to kind of fix every every problem that I ran into because I really want to wear this shirt. <laughs> I think it's super cute. It's a great use of the printed pattern. This is the um, the ombre sunset, by the way. These littlers. Uh, parts are kind of hard to get off because the t-shirt's not taut enough. Well, I wonder Maybe we can go to the other side and go ahead and get the printed pattern like bigger pieces off Using this method and then maybe use the VLR to get the outline off That will work too And it is coming off, you know as you guys can I hope you guys can see can they can you see this Emily on that overhead? Uh, you can't see any of the wrinkling that you're talking about, but you can tell that it is coming off. Okay. So it is coming off, but because these pieces are smaller, it may take me a little bit more time. Um, so I just want you all to see. But again, you know, the, the heat has to touch the back of the vinyl in order to kind of melt that adhesive. So, so we can move on to the other side and then um, do the VLR also. Lori said I would never have the patience to pick all that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, most of the time when you, you know, when there's an error on your shirt, it's not the whole shirt. So you only have to do like, you know, maybe a letter if, I mean, I've put letters on backwards before or, you know, put something on in the wrong spot and looked at it and thought, what in the world was I doing? So, you know, normally it's not the whole design. So if you just have maybe one thing. 
little bit hotter underneath. And then it will start to come off. It's starting to wrinkle up here. How is everyone doing? You guys got any specific crafts going on that you're doing while you're at home? Anything for the upcoming Easter holiday? And I know you guys can't see the wrinkling here, but um, I can see it on the printed pattern and then that lets me know, oh, okay, this one is good to pull up. So at the very top here, it's wrinkling. Lori said the middle of an E has gotten me more than once. Okay. <laughs> and that's another thing that I'm, yeah, I'm famous for is, you know, thinking I've weeded everything and then I go ahead and apply it to the shirt and lo and behold, I, as soon as I look at the shirt, looked up and look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't weed that. <laughs> so this is what, this is my fix for it. Because as you see, you know, I'm weeding this off, but the, uh, the rest of the vinyl is not moving unless I pick at it and peel it off. So if you forget to weed something, then this will work in a pinch also. Roberta said, I put a couple of words on backwards on a t-shirt and didn't know about something like this, so I threw it away. Now no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you know what? There's so many little tricks like this that, you know, we as crafters know individually that if we collectively, you know, come together and are like, hey, this is what I do when this happens, then we probably save ourselves so much money and materials. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> okay. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm having a great time watching this, so I hope you guys are too. Lori said, I'm blessed to be working at home currently, so I don't have time to craft except on weekends. Your lives are my relaxing time after work. That oh, makes me you. so happy to hear. That's really what we wanted to do during, you know, this crazy time that everyone's going through is to come on and hopefully give you guys a sort of break, you know, take a step outside of everything that's happening and watch some cool crafts and get some, you know, cool techniques that maybe you weren't aware about before and interact with you guys because you may not be getting much interaction elsewhere mm -hmm. because of the social distancing and everything. Jaden says, hey ladies. Hello. Hey. If you are just wa joining us, we are uh, practicing two different ways to remove vinyl. So if you ever have to remove an area of vinyl from your material, this is one of the ways to do it. So what we're doing is we're using the hot surface of our Cricut Easy Press and putting that up against the vinyl like from the inside of the shirt and as that vinyl starts to heat up it'll it'll make it easier to remove so we're just removing it piece by piece with our Caesar weeder and then our other option that we showed you guys earlier um, is using our VLR and this is something that we do sell on our site and it's just a chemical that you kind of soak the vinyl in and it bubbles up and peels up pretty easily Okay, so I think now we should switch to the VLR. Yeah. And I'm glad you said that we were using the Caesar weeder because that's one of the reasons that I love this tool so much is that hook because that hook is what I use to get in there and dig the vinyl off with. So I love my pin pen, but I like the hook for specific reasons, and that's right. definitely one of them. Lori said, how do you like the Easy Press compared to the Shirt Press? I have now gotten used to, I started out with my home iron, but I've now gotten used to the heat press. And so, you know, there's obviously a bit of a price difference between the easy press and then, you know, a, a good heat press. But if you have the money, um, I'm all for the heat press. Uh, but I do like this uh, better than I like my home iron in a lot of cases. But if I could only pick one, and I could afford it, I'd go with the, uh, the heat press. And I actually love our uh, StarCraft heat press. I think that's one of my favorite heat presses. I have- I, I love the color yeah. of it. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> um, you know, I have a clamshell heat press at home. And um, I know, you know, there's like a debate like Coke, Pepsi, clamshell, swing away. It really just, 
<laughs> Sorry, that was so much fun. <laughs> She's having a ball with this. It really just depends on what you're looking for, but I definitely, definitely love my heat press. I only soaked the middle part. Okay. So another tip that we mentioned earlier in the live was as well as the VLR does work if you're removing printed pattern off of a shirt, the VLR um, makes the color bleed a bit. So that's why we got the bigger sections of the printed pattern up with the, um, the easy press method and now we're just working on the outline using the VLR. And this VLR stuff, make sure you use this in a ventilated area, please. Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, Doreen, our customer service supervisor, I did a live with her sometime last week. Mm -hmm. And she did mention, because I thought the only way to get rid of the smell before pressing onto your shirt again was just by washing your shirt. But she told me a cool tip, and that was just to um, press your shirt with the heat press, you know, apply some heat to it, and just for a few seconds, and that should get rid of the scent. So we'll definitely have to try that out today as well. Um, do you guys do have a couple of comments? Okay. Um, Roberta said, I have a swing away heat press and wondering if it would be worth the money to get a clamshell. Ooh, I think if you have a swing away um, and your swing away is working great for you, there's really no difference. Um, I guess the swing away actually might allow you to, um, might allow you a little bit more flexibility because I know with the swing away, you can get that top platen all the way out of the way. So when you're doing different designs, I know a couple times on my clamshell, I've gone, you know, to put my shirt in there and line up my design where I want it and the top of my hand hits the top platen yes. and <laughs> it's very painful and I've uh, had some uh, some crafting scars um, so if you have the swing away you're you're I mean I think that's great I got a clamshell because when I bought my heat press I didn't even know um, about the swing away option I just knew that I needed a heat press I didn't really do my research. I just knew, okay, I need a way to get the uh, vinyl on the shirt that was a little bit more reliable than my home iron. So I think I, you know, looked out the first one that I saw um, that had good reviews. That's the one that I went with. I know some of the swing weights come with attachments and everything. So we had an awesome uh, swing away here in the lobby. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the of our local customers came in and just bought it and. Um, that was a fantastic swing away, so. It was gigantic. <laughs> it was so big and so yeah. heavy, but super, super cool. Um, Ruthann says, you need to do a tutorial on how to make a layered color shirt. I can't figure it out. If I wanted to make a flag, I only know how to use one color. I have no idea how to use red, white, and blue. Well, that okay. is going to kind of tie into the, the pattern, I mean, the... The design that we're doing on this shirt mm -hmm. um, because we use something called the knockout method which is definitely something that you can learn how to do pretty easily and it will help you get multiple different colors in your design and I think they posted a, a, a video today about the knockout method on the silhouette wasn't that the video that was posted today um, yesterday. Yesterday. yesterday yesterday so um, if you have a silhouette take a look at that video. If not, <laughs> it's all over me. Sorry. if not, so looks like everything's off. The shirt Yay. is obviously wet. So our heat press is on and I'm going to switch places with you again. So you okay. can go ahead and press that down. Okay. Um, but we can definitely show you how, you know, I think a lot for people that are just starting out, it's your SVG. If you're buying an SVG or if you're creating an SVG um, and it's typically in, if you're doing a flag and it's in red, white, and blue in your SVG, 
typically your machine is going to allow you to pull apart the red, pull apart the white, and pull apart the blue. And then you'll cut each of those colors separately and then just combine them all on the shirt. So I know when I'm looking for an SVG for something in particular, I always make sure that the SVG I'm buying has multiple layers already built into it because that's going to save you a lot of time. If it doesn't and you have to put those layers into it, then that's definitely something that we can get into um, and show you how to do if you're interested in that. And um, Lori said, on my heat press, I use a large Teflon sheet that I keep over the top plate with magnets and to reduce the knuckle burns. Wow. That's smart. That is smart. <laughs> that is smart. And I've seen um, several people say that they do that with the magnets. And I think I do have some magnets at home, um, actually. So that may be something we try to start doing here just to uh, save <laughs> save the burns and to remind us to use the Teflon sheet because I always forget <laughs> about using that Teflon yeah. sheet. Okay, so. so once again, remind you guys, you're gonna see some of this color here that bled onto the shirt from the printed pattern, but I think we'll be able to cover that up with our new design, so it shouldn't be a problem. But we're gonna go ahead and start weeding out. Yeah, and so we cut the vinyl differently this time. <laughs> um, first, you wanna show them the tough cut? Yeah. There you go, give me that one. Oh. So Marina thankfully did a test cut for us today. And when we say do a test cut, this is really all we mean is just put a little square in the top of your HTV and if that, if she can peel that square out like that, then that means the rest of the design should be super easy for her to weed. Thankfully. Yes. And we also did, what, what was this called again, Marina? The box? The weeding box. Mm -hmm. That kind of makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing in the area that you need to stay inside of. Um, Roberta said, when are you wanting to do the different colors? Do you recommend layering different colored vinyl or using the printable? Any preference? It depends on what I'm going for. I think the majority of the time when I'm layering, I do the different colored vinyl, like I'll do uh, red, white, and blue, Caesar Easy Weed in this case. Um, but I like to use a printed pattern as kind of like fill-in for different things. So if it's just layering and I'm doing solid colors, then typically I'll do glitter, I'll do holographic, or something like that. Um, printed patterns, I don't typically layer with. Um, but in this case, like we're about to do now, make using the easy weed to do the outline and then the printed pattern to fill in, it just turned out so nice. So it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Uh, Laura said, hi ladies. Hello, Laura. Hi. How are you doing? We hope everyone's staying safe out there. I hope everyone's finding toilet paper, hand sanitizer, or whatever it is that you're out there looking for. So I don't know how many of you guys witnessed the catastrophe that happened on Monday's Live with this design and the weeding process, but look at how much easier this is today. It makes me extremely happy that we got the right cut settings, we changed the blade, we did a test cut, and it is paying off. Let me see that Caesar weeder over there. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And I do realize that we don't have our easy mask out here, but can we this. can use yeah. this. And this one's going to take me a little bit longer to weed because okay. I got all, all these little you. dots. I know. Before we went live, Marina was bragging about how quickly she was going <laughs> to weed this all out. Okay, like, she is exaggerating, y'all. I was like, girl, you don't even I know. I did not say that. <laughs> I said if we still needed something to do while she was removing the VLR. But see, I helped you, so now you have to help me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> she just called me out, y'all. Oh, goodness. Do we have any questions, Emily? Um, you have a couple of comments. Uh, Tracy said, so glad you guys can bring joy and fun in this time of being in quarantine. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's really what we're trying to do here. Um, we understand it's not a very calming time.
time. <laughs> and I know I really enjoy watching tutorials of any kind and it kind of helps set my mind at ease. I think it's super relaxing. Um, so what a better time than to come on here and show you guys some crafts and some tips and tricks to remember. So what else do we have coming up this week? We have another uh, live coming up on Wednesday. I mean on Thursday, right? Yes. Tomorrow? Yep. Miss Doreen will be here and she'll be showing you all um, some things. We like when Doreen does her live. She's a cameo expert and she is a paper crafter so she always provides an interesting take on the different things that she does for her craft. She might use her vinyl in a different way than we would typically use mm -hmm. vinyl. We might put um, you know foil on a shirt and she may use foil in a paper crafting exactly method. a card or something like that so that'll be fun and so for those of you that are watching um, our goal is to work on foils next week so if you've never um, worked with foils before definitely join us next week because we'll be showing you lots of different ways to work with them giving you all the tips to live by right showing you that they're not as intimidating as they seem and they're super cool and super worth it <laughs> and that's probably the other the one other vinyl that has the two-step process like this one the easy mask the carrier sheet doesn't come with the printed pattern mm -hmm. so you have to get that separately so that's why we kind of say two-step process um, but with the foils that's you're going to need the easy weed adhesive and then your roll of foil but the foil is actually a really good deal because you get a lot on that roll yes 25 feet i, I think. think so anything else emily um roberta talking about um kennedy's weeding said that's going so much easier <laughs> <laughs> i know see i told you guys it doesn't it's not always like that <laughs> it was just a rough day. <laughs> Everything that could could have gone wrong went wrong. But that's why we're back to it was show a you Monday. how to make it right. It was, it was a Monday. Monday. It was a Monday and I felt it. <laughs> lately these the Mondays are rougher than they used to be, so yeah. I feel like it's okay. And if we hadn't messed up on Monday, then we might not have had anything to do today. <laughs> so it all works out. Exactly. three little last spots. So do we want to explain um, exactly what went wrong on Monday? Yeah. Because not only did we have troubles with like the cutting process and then you know not cutting all the way through um, but we actually when when we went to send our design through the Cricut or oh. I'm not sure if we were using Silhouette or I think Cricut we used that a Silhouette. Day. Okay. Yeah. So we were using Silhouette that day and um, the whole entire design got mirrored. And of course, that's, that's what you're supposed to do with most HDB. You're gonna wanna mirror your design. You know, you put your shiny side down on the mat and you mirror your design. But with our printed patterns, you're not supposed to mirror your design. So you do it pretty side face up on the mat. You don't mirror your design, you cut it out. But on Monday's live, our whole entire design got mirrored. So that's the outline, including the inside part here. So if you see how that lines up perfectly. It wasn't um, as, <laughs> as perfect on, on Monday's live, and that's why. So we just had to make sure that we were only mirroring the outline this time instead of what she said? That's Megan. She's saying, my bad, Kennedy. We weren't going to call you out, Megan. We I was not letting her call you out. <laughs> we were not going to tell on you, girl. I was taking full responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Megan said she'll take the responsibility. It's fine. <laughs> All right. I didn't clean your blade, so. <laughs> it was, it's all right, fine. It was a team effort. We all messed up. <laughs> all right. Okay, can we go to the heat press camera? I'm not sure I'm even going to try and find the middle point of this shirt because my main focus is wanting the cover up 
that. Yeah, if you can. And you know, you can still wash it after, wait 24 hours, definitely, um, and then wash it after you've applied the vinyl, if you can't get it all covered up. Okay. You know, we're gonna need a squeegee. <clears throat> we're gonna have a squeegee up there. Thank you, ma'am. Can they see what she's doing? Um, yeah. Around here, Chris. Okay. Does this look level to you, Marina? <laughs> Looks good to me. All right. So I think I covered up most of the um, color there that bled through. And like she said, I can just wait 24 hours and wash the shirt afterwards to get anything else that wasn't covered up. I was gonna get you a Teflon sheet, but it went missing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it went missing. It was up here. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. We need like some crafting bins or shelves or something so we can keep all our supplies on one spot. You want to transfer that for me? I sure will. And I'll we go in and get my Teflon sheet ready. We steal them when you're not here. So will you go back to overhead really quick? So for any of you that missed this tip on our last slide, um, because the printed patterns are a two-step process, meaning you have to purchase the TTD Easy Mask separately because they don't come with the cover sheet already attached to it. Um, we didn't have one up here with us today, so what we're doing is we're using the cover sheet from the, um, the black outline that we did. And it's going to work perfectly fine. We're just transferring it over super easily. As soon as you said that, something went wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you want to make sure you take your time so that the vinyl doesn't, um, so that it comes all the way off on the carrier sheet because the printed pattern is, is very delicate and I don't want to cause any bubbles or anything. So it's okay. best to transfer it and then flip it over and then remove the backing from the printed pattern. Just kind of roll it back. While she's doing that, I just want to remind anyone who is just now joining us that we do have, we have lowered our shipping threshold to, our free shipping threshold to any order over $25. And on top of that, any of you who are enjoying these printed patterns, um, we have a coupon code for you guys to take a dollar off each sheet. So and the coupon code is FB Pattern. And that takes a dollar off. Like I said, they're originally $5.99. And with that coupon code, it brings it down to $4.99. So take advantage of the free shipping. Take advantage of that coupon code that we got just for you guys watching us live. And get our t-shirts. I don't know. <laughs> get it all. All right. Sweet. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to line this up. Are we back on heat press? Yes. Okay. You may want to scoot your part towards you just a little. Better? Okay. So I am super happy to see that this <laughs> lines up correctly this time. Remember when you're layering, when you're putting on that first layer, you don't want to press it for the whole amount of time because vinyl does tend to shrink up a little bit when you press it. So when you're doing layers, you don't want that shrinkage. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem, Get especially with the knockout method, you're going to have a problem getting everything to fit together just right. So only press that first layer for just a few seconds. <laughs> I just, I think that, let's see, it shrunk. Yeah, it probably shrunk a little bit, but I think that's okay. So, there we go. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. 
You might have to move it around a little bit. And sometimes I even cut the carrier sheet so that I can get it to fit in just right. Um, and so we could do that. We could cut it half, you know, okay. down the down the middle. Do I don't think they can see us doing that. Sorry, we're just cutting it in half so that we can get it to fit right in. So that's another trick to remember when layering. Um, if you can't get the whole thing to fit, cut it, cut it up, and um, it works a lot better. That looks a lot better. And then you can probably put that one on top. I'm a perfectionist, and this is this is not looking perfect. Good job, girl. Good job. Should I go ahead and press that first? I would put both. You can probably do both because it's, as long as the vinyl doesn't, you know, overlap. Right. Can I see everything we're doing, Emily? For the most um, part? Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah. and I'm going to get my Teflon sheets this time. Awesome. And how long are we pressing this for? 10 to 15 seconds. Alrighty. I'm getting stronger these days, guys. <laughs> I think it's going to turn out perfectly. Finally, I'm so excited. <laughs> I will definitely be wearing this shirt in tomorrow's live, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's proud of it. I am. Alrighty. You guys see that? Alright, you want to put it over here under the overhead? Yep. Are we on the overhead, Emily? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, as you guys remember from the beginning of the live, we had a butterfly on here. We removed the butterfly using both the VLR method and the um, Cricut Easy Press, or you can use an iron underneath to pull off the printed pattern. And um, you can barely even tell that the, um, mm -hmm. you know, that the color ran. Around. Yeah. So we went ahead and removed all the vinyl, heat pressed the shirt to kind of soak up the rest of that leftover VLR, and then went ahead and applied our design right on top. So that's how you get yourself out of that sticky situation. <laughs> if your project ever goes wrong like that, um, that's all you need to do. We've given you guys two great methods for removing vinyl and then also when we cut the transfer sheet down the middle when it wasn't lining up on both sides properly because of because of the shrinkage that we ran into that was another great tip so yeah so uh oh someone wants to know could you do just a solid black background for the butterfly you absolutely could. If you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and fill it in and make it all solid. The only problem is if you're going to do that, then you don't want to do it with the printed pattern because you don't want to layer the printed pattern. So with printed pattern, you're going to want to do like what we did, the knockout design, because you want to make sure that printed pattern adheres perfectly to the shirt, mm -hmm. not to another vinyl, because then um, when you wash it, then you could get... Um, then the vinyls could separate. Sorry about that. <laughs> then the vinyls could separate. But if you're just doing easy weed on top of easy weed, then you're good to go. Anything else? No, everyone loved it. All awesome. right. Well, awesome. thank you everyone for joining us. Just yes. remind you about our um, $25. You get free shipping. Yes. I didn't say that well. <laughs> so we should be on your order of $25 or more. Yes. And then we have, don't forget about our coupon code. So it's only good for a little bit for all of our participants for our Facebook Live. So if you're interested in the printed pattern, use coupon code FB Pattern and save yourself a dollar on a sheet of printed pattern. That's right. Thank you everyone for joining us. And I will see you guys tomorrow along with Doreen. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.